You know, I wasn't much older than you are right now when we found out I was pregnant. Could you see yourself having children in a few years? Nobody was holding a gun to your head. It was your choice. But I made that choice thinking that your father would always be there. He always took care of everything. I suppose I should have known something might happen one day. It was a soldier, after all, and a Republican loyalist. Pretty dangerous combination. And then he went off to the baton Cato's War. And never came back. Nobody did from that war. The whole system's a neutron wasteland. And when he died, I don't know. I couldn't really handle having a little girl suddenly. I suppose I felt too much like one myself. I needed to go off and grow up. You know, just about everything you say starts with I. Have you ever noticed that? Some people have pointed it out to me, yes. Your father... You... I don't want to talk about him. He couldn't help what happened to him. You could. You never even visited. Your grandfather wouldn't allow it. He wouldn't even tell me where you were. Don't try to blame this on Granddad. He has taken care of me. Of everything. I'm not trying to... Well, maybe I am. He can be so manipulative, Maggie. You don't know him the way I do. You're so right. I know him better. He's always been honest with me, no matter how hard things have been. Look, Maggie, this is hard for me, too, you know. Isn't there anything I can do to make this easier? Besides, internal opticoms aren't strange. They're just unusual. Sort of a secret weapon I developed for negotiations. Gives us an edge to be able to send agents into a situation and then see and hear exactly what they see and hear. I still believe it's a big mistake to go down there unarmed, don't you? They didn't phrase it as a request, Father. If we go down there with weapons, all contact will be terminated, and that'll kill any chance of getting Nova out. 